New at 9, if you're looking for a work from home job, you might be out of luck. Many companies are going back to working in person, which could mean more money out of your pocket. Fox San Antonio's Amanda Henderson explains what options you have left. It's no secret prices are rising and we're all feeling the impact. Even like um, extracurricular uh, curricular activities for my kids, like 150 to have them play t-ball. Denise Castillo came to today's Workforce Solutions Alamo event. It helps link people up with high demand and well-paying jobs. Castillo hopes to work in person versus at home. And that's a trend several employers are going back to. If I have a better job with more pay and more hours or whatever, I mean, I'll be able to provide. Going back is not ideal for everyone. Do I want to go back to the office? No. Um, will I? Yes. According to the Pew Research Center, nearly 60% of people feel their job can be done from home. They also say about 30% of people cite the need for child care as the reason why they would want to work from home. Something this woman we caught up with says could be alleviated by one thing. The pay increase helps alleviate the, the finances of, oh, now I got to travel and now I got to pay for gas and now I got to get the kids to school and then get myself to work. San Antonio's unemployment rate currently sits at just above 3%. LinkedIn economist Guy Berger talks about what this means to employers. Employers are saying, wait a second, if I don't have to offer it, I'm going to be much more judicious in terms of how I offer it. So why bring everyone back now? University of Incarnate Word San Antonio professor Trey Gwynn explains. I think inevitably productivity has to be part of the equation. Culture and productivity are two critical aspects. I think the companies that are winning in this area are the ones who are recognizing that it's not an either or proposition, but instead it's more of a both. 